Welcome. Yeah, so a third proof of the Pythagorean theorem, this time exploiting proportions and similar triangles. So, um, if you have a right triangle, which is the blue big right triangle that you see, then you can drop an altitude to the hypotenuse of that right triangle. And this is the altitude to the hypotenuse. And altitude to the hypotenuse in a right triangle forms three similar triangles. This triangle is similar to this triangle and they're both similar to the big uh, blue triangle that houses them yeah okay and then by uh, proportions of uh, similar triangles we know that this has to hold true and from this notice that we can cross multiply in the first equation and write that a squared is equal to c times x and in the second equation we can write b squared is equal to c times y so that means that we have this here. Now, what happens if we add a squared and b squared? This is what would happen. Um, a squared plus b squared would first equal cx plus cy. And then if we factor out a c from here, then we get c times x plus y. But wait, x plus y is equal to c, right? And so we have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Yes. Um, Perhaps I could have explained a little bit more on uh, this uh, proportion uh, that comes from similarity of the uh, three triangles that I mentioned, but uh, that's a different video. That's a famous, maybe not famous, but an important theorem uh, in geometry called the theorem of the altitude to the hypotenuse. Yeah? Okay, cool. I hope you enjoyed this. Keep watching. Take care.